Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to change a general form of a circle to its graphing form or standard form by completing the square. So these are the two equations of a circle. So we have a general form here, and then the other one right here is the graphing form or standard form. Now there are other videos that explains how we got these equations. I will put the link of those videos in the description box below. To better understand how do we change a general form to a graphing form or standard form, let's have this first example right here. So we are given this general form over here, and looking at this equation, it would be difficult for us to determine the center and the radius since it is not in standard or graphing form. So we are going to go through these steps in order that we can easily determine what is the center of the circle, what is the radius of the circle, so we can go ahead and graph them really quick. So first step that we are going to do is to um, have the constant move it to the right. So in this case here, I am going to subtract one from both sides, so minus one here. So then we can cross the constant out from the left. So this would come out x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 2y equals negative one. Now the next step, so that was the first step. The next step that we are going to do is to group together all the x's. So anything that has an x on it, it can be x squared or, or x, we group them together. So we're gonna have the first group of x. So I'm gonna have x squared. So I'm grouping the, the x's now, so I, uh, that's the x squared. We also have a 4x. So I group them together. So that would be x squared plus 4x. Now here's the thing. In this group here, we are going to add blank because our purpose for this is to complete the square. So add blank and then that's a plus and then we group together all the y's. So the y's that we have here are the uh, um, y squared and the minus two y's. So what I would do is I group them together. That would be y squared minus two y plus blank. Again, I added blank to each of them, and that is equal to negative one. If I added two blanks on the left side, I'm going to add two blanks on the right side as well to make the equation even. So that is plus blank and plus blank. Again, I added two blanks because um, that's, that's, this corresponds to the first blank and this corresponds to the second blank. So what are we going to do is we determine what do we write on these blanks. So uh, we already did a, uh, a process on completing the square in the other videos. Again, I will put that video in the description box below. So um, this term that we have here will be divided by 2. So 4 divided by 2. So it's, it's going to be divided by 2 each time. So that would be a 2. Whatever the answer here, you are going to square it. So 2 squared is... Four, and that is the number that we put in here. So I'm gonna put four here. Now, if I put four on this side, I'm going to put four on the other side to make them even. And then to determine the value for the other one, we do exactly the same thing as that. So we're going to take half of this or divide it by two. So negative two divided by two is a negative one. And so this number will be squared negative one squared is a positive one. And this is the number that will go here. So that's a plus one. And if I added one here, I also do the same thing on the other side. So this would, uh, this equation that we have here can be simplified as this. So that would be x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals that's going to be a 4 because you cross out the negative and the positive. So that would be a 4. Now, this is a perfect square trinomial. There's another video that talks about this. I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So how do we simplify this? We You can actually use the box and diamond to factor this out. So you can actually come up with, if you, if you use the box and diamond for this, this would be x plus 2 and then x plus 2. And then this one would come out to be y minus 1 and y minus 1. So then we go ahead, since there are two of them, so we can square it. So that would come out x plus 2 squared plus 
y minus 1, and there are two of them, so that's a squared, is equal to 4. Now, I will give you a trick. In order that we can do it quick to determine what number do we put in here, again, you can use box and diamond to factor these out on this part right here, but then I'll give you a trick on how to qu quickly do it. So whatever is inside the um, parentheses that we got here, which is this number right here, that's the one that we put in here. Okay, so the same thing for this. Whatever this number that's inside the parentheses or this number right here, so we are going to put that in here. So that's going to go with the y to, uh, the, the, because it's a perfect square. So then our, our let's write the final equation for this. So that would be x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 4. So this is the equation of the circle in standard form or graphing form. So we got the general form up here. So this is the general form. We completed the square. We did all the steps. We are able to come up with the graphing form or the standard form. So from general to standard. So from here, the center would the center of the circle would be Again, we uh, I gave you a trick on this already. This should become, we switch the sign of this. So that would be a negative 2. And then um, switch the sign, that would be a positive 1. So that's the center of the rate. That's the center of the circle. So that is negative 2 and positive 1 is right here. So that's the center of the circle. The radius for this is the square root of 4, which is 2. So we're going to count 1, 2. And then we're going to count 1, 2, we're going to count 1, 2, we're going to count 1 and 2. And then we should be able to draw the circle. So the equation for this circle is this one or this one. So these two equations that we have here are equivalent equations and they are talking about the same circle up here. Okay? At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So it's pretty much the same thing. We are going to um, uh, change. Uh, we put the constant to the right side of the equation. So that would be a plus 34, plus 34. So then we, we can cross out the 34. So we are left with x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 2y equals 34. We group together all the x's, so that would be x squared plus 2x, and we put a blank, plus we group together all the y's, so that would be y squared plus 2y plus blank, and that is equal to 34 plus blank plus blank. Okay, now we, uh, uh, to determine what number do we put in here, we're going to use this um, coefficient right there. So that would be 2 divided by 2 each time is 1, and then that's 1 squared is equal to 1, so that's the number that we put in here. And then this positive 2 right here, we do exactly the same thing. So this would be 2 divided by 2 is 1, and then we square the 1, and that's still a 1, so we put that in here. So we put a 1, I put a 1 here, so that's a 1, and that's another 1 right there. So then this can be simplified. Uh, we can just go ahead and simplify it right away. So that is x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared plus 2y plus 1 equals 34 plus 2 is 36. So then we can go ahead and uh, since it's the perfect square trinomial, remember this number will be paired up. So I can write x there and then y right here. So to look for those um, numbers that we put in here, we are going to use this. So that's a plus 1. And then we're going to use this. And that's, that's another plus 1. And so that is equal to 36. So this is our graphing form. So because from here, we can already determine the center of the circle and the radius. So from this equation right here, the center of the circle is negative 1, negative 1. And then the uh, radius is the square root of 36, which is a 6. So then we can go ahead and uh, uh, plot the center, negative 1 and negative 1. So it's going to be over here. And then we count 6 up, down 6, left and right. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
We have uh, from the center, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. And then from here, we can sketch the circle. So we can sketch the circle right here. The radius of the circle is um, six. So it's gonna be six on all sides, left, right, up, down. So this is, this circle has an equation, either of these two would work. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!